Hi, this is The Advisor with Stacey Chalemi, and today I'm very excited to have a, an excellent guest with us that has a wonderful story to tell, and she has a great career, and she's going to teach us a lot of great things today. This is Terry J. She is an author, a speaker, a clinician, and an entertainer. She teaches people how to heal themselves by using simple healing methods. So, Terry, why don't you tell people a little about yourself? Well, first of all, thank you so much for having me. It's really an honor to be here. Um, what happened to me is in 1990, I was doing a horseback therapy program with disabled kids and I heard a nonverbal child speak to me. So once I had that confirmed, the suggestion was made to learn to communicate with the horses because all animals are telepathic. Mm -hmm. And I'm like an idiot. I went, okay, I'm going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I was so naive at the time. But one thing has led to another, and now I know that, th that everybody has these abilities and that there are no limits to what you can discern from the universe. So now I do everything except predictions and police work, and I just love doing it. I love helping people. So you do things, you were telling me, like intuitive like lifestyle um, teaching. You teach people how to um, absorb and, and, and learn how to connect with their, their sixth sense, so to speak. Like, can yes. you tell us a little bit about that? Well, everyone is born with um, 10 senses, not five. Okay. We're, we're born with intuition, clairvoyance, clairsentience, clairaudience, and claircognizance. And clair just means clear. So we have clear knowing, clear seeing, clear feeling, clear hearing. We all have all of those. And everybody's gotten something from one of those senses at some time, but we just don't trust it. And, and right. that's what I really like to teach people is to learn to trust it. So just by doing grounding, which is done with visualization and intention, then you can be sure that you're raising your vibration, raising your own frequency so that you can receive higher frequency things and information. And it's just amazing. There's no limits to it. You can talk to animals and people that, that have passed that are on the other side. You can learn to communicate with people that cannot communicate. And of course, there's only seven to nine million people in the US that can't communicate. So that's a really, really beneficial skill. And um, you can learn to, you know, you look at your dog and go, gee, what's wrong with my dog? And as you're asking the universe that question, you're given or shown the answer. So it, it really takes a lot of the guesswork out of things. So, I mean, I used to take my dog or cat to the vet and go, oh, my cat's diabetic. And they go, do you mind if we check? <laughs> you, have to, you have to check so but they would i'd come in and you know if it was my own animals i can do the d word you know diagnosis but for other people i'll just say this is what i feel this is what i'm right. getting you know i don't i don't diagnose i don't prescribe i leave that to the professionals right but it just it really makes your whole perception of the universe amazing and especially learning how to heal yourself yeah. You know, to finding out the diseases, issues in the tissues. It's right. stuck negative emotions. It frustrates the crap out of me to realize we're only 1% physical. We're 99% energetic. I so know. Why, why is all of allopathic medicine focused on the 1%? Right. Nobody ever says, how's your emotions? You know, or, you know, you've got breast cancer. So who are you grieving? They don't never put those two together, right? Right. No, you know, over 70% of conditions are caused by stress alone. You know, people don't realize the impact of, of emotions, sure. how they play on the body. You right. know, there, there are so many people that are interested in this topic. There are so many people that will spend tons of money to learn what, to, to, to learn what, you know, maybe like what a medium, like what, what they have to tell you or to realize, you know, to find out more you know to go above the, the norm but you know you you're telling us that everybody has the ability mm -hmm. so if you're really interested in this topic and you don't you know many people don't realize that they could have the ability to do this themselves yes like, 
So how do you, if someone is very curious about this topic, has a lot of interest and, you know, may not think that they have the ability, step one, how, first of all, how do you teach somebody that, you know, if, you know, like there has to be little steps, little exercises that someone could do to, to make themselves more intuitive. Like, where would you tell somebody, like if a person came in and said, I want to be more intuitive, what do I do? Well, of course, I'm a little prejudiced about this, but I would say, get my books. <laughs> <laughs> get my books, because I really make it simple. After and you showed me your books, I, I'm definitely going out to get them, because they're amazing, <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my, the first one teaches you how to do everything I do, and that's the, the Cowgirl Shaman Way, which is my branding. Mm -hmm. um, seven Easy Steps to Develop Your Intuitive Ability. The second book I wrote, and I didn't want to write them in this order, but guidance is always screaming at me. No, yes. let's do this one next. So I was yes. like, all right, I'll do it. And the second book addresses those seven to nine million people in the United States that cannot communicate due to illness, injury, or disease. And that one is for caregivers, first responders, medical personnel. And, uh, and then the third book, which just came out, I'm so excited about it is the physics of mediumship yeah so it's using physics energy frequency and vibration to learn to communicate with your loved ones on the other side you know sometimes i think god i'm just not grieving i'm not grieving and i just had a huge loss this spring with the loss of a dog yeah but i just i'm still petting him i'm still seeing him race outside to do chores with us and right it's like i don't miss him because I know he's still here energetically. Right. Right. And, and it it's a little weird, but it's it's like you just you don't you don't miss him. I, you know, I kind of relate with you because I just recently in this past year and a half, I lost three loved ones. Oh and I also lost my Shih Tzu of 17 years. Oh now, my goodness. And so I was really, I was very upset. I was grieving very hard because they all were in a six month period of, I lost one and then six months later, I lost someone else and then I lost someone else. And I, after they left, you know, once the person passed my, my, the people I love, I said, just give me a sign that you're okay. Now my, my, um, when my uncle passed, I saw the next day I saw a white feather and it was mm -hmm. just lying there. And I said, mm -hmm. he, I just said, just let, before I, but before I saw that white feather the night before, I said, just let me know that you're okay and you're in a better place. And the next day I saw a white feather. When my um, grandfather had passed, I said, I said, just let me know you're okay. You're in a better place and you, you know, and that you're nearby. And it was winter and I saw a ladybug. And then, oh my goodness. and then I constantly saw ladybugs. And every time I felt stressed out about something, I would see a ladybug. And then one day I, you know, my grandma lives very close by, I used to visit her. So I was typing on the computer and I was looking up to the sky and I was talking, I was telling, I was saying, oh, I just visited grandma and da 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 da, -da and I'm telling him the day with grandma and a ladybug flew right on the screen. Oh and I goodness. was like, I knew that was him just giving me a message saying, you know, I'm so glad you had a great time. I'm so glad grandma's doing okay. And, you know, even when um, my great, great grandmother had passed, she loved lavender. And I said, when she passed, just like I did with the other ones, just let me know you're in a better place. I woke up and my whole, I was, my husband already left for work the room smelt the strongest scent of lavender you could imagine. Yeah, sure. And there was nothing lavender in the room, but I could right. smell that lavender, yeah. you know? And, you know, even when my aunt had passed away, I said the same thing. And I opened the closet to, to, um, to get, uh, to get an outfit and a quarter hit me on the head. There's oh my no, goodness. There's no quarters in my closet, you know? <laughs> so, you know, if people don't know about spirituality, they say that's a sign, you know, when you see sure. pennies and nickels and all that stuff. And I, to me, that was just them saying that I'm okay, I'm here. And I feel like when you call out to the universe, the universe answers. And Absolutely. when you call out to people, they answer. And our intuitive self I believe if we understand ourselves and we understand our intuitiveness, 
it, basically we're always being told what to do and the right decisions sure. and what to do. It's, it's, we have to understand how our body works and we have to listen to our intuitiveness. Right. And we all have guides and, and um, what's interesting about communicating with your guides is when you first hear something, it's so important to say, thank you. I hear you because then it gets more often and louder. Oh, really? I wish it was the other way around where it was loud and obvious from the beginning but it's like the more you acknowledge that you've heard your guides and we all have lots of them and mine are hilarious they just drive <laughs> me crazy but because they're reflections of your own personality on the other side they're connected to the other side right so um you know it's just an energetic connection so I hear stuff from my guides all the time and, and it's a riot. I have one guide. Um, I know he's gay because he always tells me what to wear and he just is, <laughs> he's wonderful. I just adore this guide. And he just says, put on this and this and you'll look fabulous. And like, all, right, all right, that'll work. And um, um, I've got one that I swear is she's got a Minnesota accent and she's always like behind me if I'm in the kitchen making something. And it's, oh, yeah, yeah, you betcha. You know, that's what I hear. <laughs> and it's just fun. It's just fun to connect to your guides and, and you hear them all the time. And that, you know, just like when I'm thinking, oh, God, what book should I? And it's like, the, as you're starting to ask that question, you're already given or shown the answer. Right. And that's why people miss it, because they, they want to have this long, elaborate question about what they should do or how they should do it. And so we miss the answer. Because a conversation with your guide sounds like this, and it's all mental. Should oh, but what about oh? I went oh. Should I oh? It's that fast, and it's the same thing. Communicating with animals, communicating with people on the other side. This is why people miss it, and it's it really frosts my pumpkin too. Because I've looked at a lot of teaching materials from from other people, and they never teach that. <laughs> so if I it's say, so quick, how, how do you get what they're saying? If it's you like, can get it, yeah, you can get it. You just have to listen faster. That's probably the most important thing. And then just double check that you're grounded. And that's done with visualization and intention. And I teach that in all three of my books, how to do it. Mm -hmm. And, and the, it, it makes you connected, you know, to the earth, but open to the ethers to receive the information. And it also makes you healthier, happier you know, the whole nine yards. Yeah. So I just love doing this and I love teaching it. And, um, you know, you said I was a clinician and that's what it's talking about is when I do workshops, I do them privately, I have private sessions where I, you know, teach people how to do this. So right. it's really fun. And, and then what really frosts me, my pumpkin again, about certain people that are on television mm -hmm. is they specifically say, oh yes, I have gifts. And I'm like, like from Blazing Saddles yelling bull on the, at the TV because no, they're not gifts. You're not special. Right. Everybody can do this unless you have serious cognitive ability, disabilities or something. But yeah. everybody can learn to do this. And I don't think you can get into one part of it. All I wanted to do was animal communication. And like they say, man plans, God laughs. Yeah. And so while I was doing animal communication, I started hearing dead people. And so I would share that information. I'd first ask if they were okay with it. And, right, and right, of course right. they always wanted to hear from their, their relatives on the other side. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And it's just exploded from there. And so I know there's, there's no limits to it. Now I do map dowsing, remote viewing, you know, I find lost pets on maps it's just fun because you're just looking for their energy. Right. Uh, so it still all comes back to physics. And I just really want to take the woo woo out of it. Now you were mentioning that the, now people who know they have intuitiveness that when their spiritual guides come, you said something about thanking them or, you know, I hear oh, what yes. you, so how, how do you do that again? Can you just repeat? You that? always want to be in gratitude, you know, mm -hmm. gratitude. There's a line in um, the book, the Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Waddles, which I highly recommend. Right. Because it's like the physics of God. It's the physics of source energy. Yeah. You know, he calls it thinking stuff, formless intelligence, um, creative energy. I mean, he has all these different words for what we think of as God. 
Right. And he says, gratitude unifies the mind of man with the intelligence of substance Mm -hmm. so that man's thoughts are received by the formless. Wow. Isn't that cool? That is really cool. That is really cool. Yeah. So if you want to make sure the law of attraction works for you, that's the deal. That's the deal right there. So you always want to be in gratitude and you want to be in gratitude for what you have, but also what you want is if you already have it. So it's pretty cool. Right. So that's why the minute you hear your guides or what you think is your guides, and, and I really want to very firmly state, you will never get anything negative. Mm-hmm. never okay and i That's tell people know. If, if you're getting negative stuff you need psychiatric help go check yourself in seriously yeah because you will only get i mean the worst thing you'll get is you better slow down there's a cop around the next turn right that's about the worst <laughs> about the worst and you want that you advice <laughs> yes to me that's still a positive that's, that's still, still a positive, positive. Yeah. yeah oh yeah. my goodness yes but you'll you'll never get anything negative never and so if you are getting negative things like cautions or warnings, that's paranoia. You know, right. I'm not diagnosing, but that's paranoia and, and you need help. You need professional help. Now but, you have, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, oh, go, go ahead. ahead. No, I was going to say, there are people that say, oh, this stuff is evil. Oh, this and that. Oh. And so what do you tell someone like that? Because it's not, you know, this is abilities that everybody has. It's yes. just, they just don't know how to tap into it. Right. They have to learn how to tap into it. So you have very skeptical people. And I believe what you don't know or don't understand, you fear. Sure. So, so, you know, what do you say to someone when they come at you and they say something like that? What would you be your response? Everything I do comes from love and everything I do is helpful in healing. It is never right. critical or judgmental and it, it's, it's never negative. Right. You know, people misinterpret Jesus's purpose. Right. And this is coming from a Jewish girl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but he's master healer. He was either doing a healing, going to a healing or coming from a healing. Right. And he said, all this and more you can do. So yes. I really want to give a big duh to yeah. <laughs> skeptical about this, really. Right. Yes. Yes. So this is healing work. It's healing work. Right. If you're because everybody that I get off the phone with after I've done a private reading, they, they you know, they're they're always telling me, oh my goodness, I feel so much better. I feel so much lighter. Right. You know, when they get off the phone with me. So it's just good stuff. No, I agree with you. I agree with you totally. <laughs> and then I, you know, I know people that, you know, are grieving lo- lost ones and they are, you could see them just in a, in a, a, a terrible state because they're missing the person that, <laughs> that left. But, and, and, and I would, I would say to them, you know, look for the signs, look for, you know, they, they, they're there, you know, their physical presence is no longer with us, but their spiritual presence, they're with you all the time. I said, and sometimes these people, they don't, they're, they don't see out of the gray box. That's how I say it, you know? Right. And what do you say to a person like that? Like, if you want them to believe and you want them to understand, like, how do you just, they're just, when somebody dies, animal or human, they're just, they just become non-physical. Right. And and here's the thing that, that is very critical to this work. Nothing negative can go to the other side. Right. It is not a vibrational match to source. So only the positive can go with them to the other side. Mm -hmm. So this is why they cannot become your guides or angels. Angels are a completely different species. Right. But they cannot become your guides because it's like, if you pray to your grandmother or your mother or something, and please help me, I'm in this really bad state, help me out. They can't even hear that. Right. Because they can't hear anything negative on the other side. Right. So it's like when I opened my box of books yesterday, because I finally got my new books, you know, the author copies. I'm so excited for you. And I heard my mom go, I see. I see you got you put, you know, I did, I was like, I was going to go mom. And it was like, I already, she already, she already heard it. She says, I see that's wonderful. So um, they can't hear anything negative. Nothing negative goes with them. You have a lot of parents whose children have been killed brutally and tortured or whatever. And 
they cannot move past how their child died. Right. And, and the, the child is on the other side, running around like a chicken with their head cut off, having a blast, sees all the positive, wonderful things that are still going on in the earthly realm. They still love their parents and the parents can't move past the death. Right. And, and the how. Right. And, and it's the, the kid has no concept of it. People, you know, it's a lot, there's a lot of mediums that will tell you how a person died. Right. So it's really important to understand where that is coming from. They do not have discernment. And it's probably the most important word when it comes to mediumship is you have to have discernment. Is this positive or negative? And if you're getting something negative, you can never attribute it to the person on the other side. If you're getting something negative, like how they died or whatever, then you are dumpster diving in the negative crap they've left behind. Right. Now, can you explain more about this sermon? Because when people, when you use that word, people might not be familiarized with the true definition. Can you go a little bit broader in explaining that? Like, I know you just it's, did a little bit, but. It's just... just knowing the difference between positive and negative energy. And I just say, well, how does that feel to you? Right. Are you getting something negative? And. Are, are people going to get negative things when they're doing a reading, you know, from the other side? Yeah, they're going to pick up on it. But attribution is the most important part. Are you going to attribute that to the dead person on the other side? Or are you going to attribute it to, hey, I'm over here dumpster diving. And that's mm -hmm. how I'm figuring out how they died, because that's in the garbage they left behind. Right. So it's very, very important to have discernment to figure out, is this positive? Is it negative? And then Am I going, you know, if it's funny or silly, oh yeah, it's coming from the person on the other side. And I've, I've had stuff so ribald, it's hilarious. And I'm, I'm happy to share it. Sometimes I'm like a little, ooh, you know, I don't want to use this word, but I'm going to use this word, you know, yeah, yeah, to yeah. somebody on uh -huh. the other side. But if you're getting something negative, I'm sorry, you are freaking dumpster diving in the right. garbage they left behind. That right. is not them, how they are on the other side. No. And do you know how many mediums make a fortune off of helping people get to the other side, which right. is never, never necessary Yeah. because they're tuning into the garbage and thinking, oh, they're stuck. They've got unfinished business. Um, they have regrets. So we've got to move this energy to the other side. And they think they're doing a mitzvah. Yeah, and they're not. They're not. They're taking out the garbage. That's all they're doing. Right. And I've it, seen people do that. And it, yeah. it annoys me because I think that's what gives that's what gives people, a, a you know, anyone that has any negative thoughts towards people that have intuitive, behavior, you know, abilities. It's because, you know, it's because of these people who abuse it or are, are fake and they put two yeah. and two together and it's just, you know, it, you know, the intuitive ability is out there and it's I've had there. So many people call me and say, listen, you're cheaper, you know, cause my rates are pretty reasonable. Yeah. And, and they'll say, you're cheaper. I've just blown all my money on this medium. And it's always on the East coast. I don't know why <laughs> And they were trying to get my mother's spirit to the other side because she's stuck. Mm. And I have one question for them. Who is the district attorney in your town? <laughs> because you need to go file that that you have you have you know been perpetrated a fraud upon yeah because you never need to help someone get to the other side i mean no. unless we're talking about humane euthanasia <laughs> people and animals which happens yeah um, nobody needs help getting there the minute you pop out of your body um and people and dogs and cats and they'll all kind of go, Ooh, that felt weird. Yeah. And then they're fine. They're absolutely fine. Yeah. You know, I, it, it was funny when my one dog had passed, I was there um, when she passed and I held her in my arms and it was like, I felt her spirit rise. Yeah, it was they, so yeah, but it was go through you. They yeah. Go through you. I call it a joy gasm. That's, that's what it felt like. And rushes of joy up and down your whole body. That's how it yeah. felt like. Yeah. I would never miss, you know, a, an animal or human passing, you know, if at all possible, because it's so joyful from them. You're just feeling what they're feeling as they're, 
you know, leaving. It's right. incredible. It's just incredible. And you know, they come back. So oh, if, you do go they? Get, if you go get another dog, your dog's spirit that passed will walk into that dog. You know, I always wondered about that because oh, yeah. when I got my other dog, like after my one dog passed, like I waited a while and I was very saddened by my, my dog's light. And I got my other dog and I swear to God, I felt like her spirit was in the new dog if that made sense yes. to you because she was so much like my first dog and be, and she she behaved a lot like her and she reacted a lot like her I'm like oh my god that's she is so much like princess I said to myself no, it is it is princess I mean <laughs> they they really do they try to come back really quickly and what I found is that dogs cats and horses for some reason a lot more walk-ins when it happens with people they usually end up in the psych ward but it's like, <laughs> somebody else is in here you know making me do things right and and uh <clears throat> but but with animals you get a lot of uh, a lot of walk-ins and people want to wait and they think oh you know i can't replace the animal and it's like no it, you lost the one percent physicalness of them right so all you need to do is go get that other physical form for their 99% energy to enter. Right. And people always ask me, well, what happens to the one that was in there? You know, if there was a spirit in there, if they both dogs were alive at the same time or something. Yeah. They just share beautifully. They just share. And sometimes you see the new dog in there and sometimes you see your old, your old dog in there, but they always try to come back. Most of the dogs go, hey, I got to come back that my owner is high maintenance. They need a lot of attention <laughs> and affection. You know, I have to get her out. She won't take walks unless I'm there, you know, and they, they're very insistent on coming back. So it's really cute. You know, I, I have, um, I have a, a friend and, and she didn't know that my other dog just had passed. And she said that she go, she asked me if the dog passed. And I said, yes. And she said, and she goes, he's talking about a collar. I said, oh, well, I keep his collar in my drawer next to me. And he said, he, he, he said that he loves you very much. He's, he was very happy in living there in your home. And he said, and he's telling me you need to go get a puppy now. Yeah. And that was, that was the message that he, he gave that he, he was very happy there. He loved us and go get a puppy. He, that was, yeah. that was the words that, you know, that she felt and heard. And, uh, you know, and it's I did very accurate. It's probably very accurate. Yeah. You know, and we have to remember too, too, Stacey, you know, people think reincarnation is linear. It, it can be, but not necessarily. You can put 10 spirits in one body and one spirit in 10 bodies. Really? Yeah. So it's not necessarily, it can be linear where you have one person die and come back as another person. And what I see a lot too, is if a grandparent dies, they often come back as their own grandchild or great grandchild. I've heard about that. Yeah, like, like you know, a lot. I was always confused about the reincarnation process because like if they come back and I was, you know, do it, it, it does the, does it, can the, does the soul cross over to the heavens? I thought, or does that soul, that spirit come back into the universe? Like you said, in you know, maybe a newborn or, you you're, know, you're, th you're still thinking linear though. Okay. So, that's the difference. Okay. So explain right. that a little bit well, for people. because it's, it's still freaking energy. Mm -hmm. So is my mom here with me? Sure. Is she on the other side? Sure. Has she been reincarnated someplace? Probably. And you know, it, it, it's not, it's not like only one thing. It's not right. like, well, if they're on the other side, that's where they're going to stay. That's not true. Gotcha. All right. We, and the reason we keep coming into physical form and <clears throat> I talk to a lot of people and they go, I'm not coming back. <laughs> This sucks. No, this sucks. I'm not coming back. I can understand that. <laughs> yeah. but the thing is, is that we are extensions of the creator. You are God energy in a meat suit. Seriously. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you cannot create from non-physical. Wow. You have to be in a physical body in order to create. Okay. So that is why we keep coming back and doing it again. And, and what people don't realize is that they, when things get too tough and they give up, they've just said, okay, so next time it can be worse. That's okay. Next time it can be worse for me. 
Right. And, and I just think, get after it. Yeah. Get done what you need to do. Even right. if it's, even if it's using energy healing to overcome a disease right. or something, because otherwise you're going to give yourself a big fat do over and you ain't going to like it. Exactly. Exactly. And, and we have to remember, we are not making those decisions as humans. We are making those decisions, looking at the greater good as a God being. Right. Because we're all God energy in a meat suit. I mean, it's that simple. So, and, and look at all the religions that teach that you're separate from God. You're conceived in sin and born in sin and sent away from God. And then now, now you got to be a goody two shoes to work your way back to God. Right. So, that's such BS. It's mm -hmm. all energy. Right. Right. Really? You know? What what being would would say that in order for you to be born, it's a sin? I mean, that's just ludicrous. Right. This is just control of church by churches in order to control the masses. Oh, it's frustrating. That's a whole other no show. <laughs> it, it really is. It really is. So yeah, you know, we just have to know that we're 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 love beings, love energy, creative energy in a physical right. form. So right. Get after it. That's great. I, you know, I, I love everything that you're doing and it, it's awesome how much, you know, uh, knowledge and information you provided today. And, you know, for, you know, if people want to, you know, a lot of times people talk to the universe or they say prayers and they try to bring, you know, they, they want to get closer to their intuitiveness and they want to get, you know, they want the presence of their, the spirits and, and the guides and, and they want them around them. Like if, before they get your books, if they want to stay <laughs> home and like, you know, it, what would be like a couple of suggestions would you suggest, suggest to somebody just to like, you know, start working on their intuitiveness? at home uh, i would say the first thing and the most important thing is self-love that's self -love. the most important thing work on self-love because if you don't love yourself at 10 like source energy does all of this is going to be so challenging mm -hmm. you have to love yourself at 10 for no reason right because you are love energy in a physical form that's right. number one work on that and i hate to tell people this but it's a freaking choice yeah, it's like a light switch. You can choose to hate yourself or you can choose to love yourself. Right. And and so I think that is the most important thing. The next thing is take your power back. One of the best things you can do is think of who took your power. Write them letters. It's not to send. So you can use your potty words. Write them, write them letters, tell them off. And then it's so important. You must burn those letters while you say out loud. Nobody's ever going to treat me like that again. That is taking your power back. It usually starts with parents or whoever raised you. And then it's really interesting because you'll end up in relationships that will mirror back that same crap. Yes. That same disempowerment. Yes. A lot of times people go, God, I, first I married my, you know, somebody that was like my mom. And then I married somebody that was like my dad. And it's like, when does this stop? You right. Know, it, mm -hmm. when, you, when you let it stop, when you take your power back. Right. So I think that's really important because when you take your power back, you're going to raise your vibration. Yeah. And the next thing I would tell people, gosh, study the law of attraction. Yeah. What you think about, you bring about. So right. thoughts are things, thoughts become things. They do. I have, so, I have so many people that tell me, well, it doesn't work. And I go, well, because your thoughts and your feelings are not in alignment. Yes. The thoughts are, I have this, I'm grateful, you know, blah, blah about that. But your feelings are, you're a piece of crap and you don't deserve it. Right. And so you've got to make sure the thoughts and feelings are in alignment in order to manifest whatever it is that you want. It's so important. I agree. The next thing is listen faster. Listen faster. Right. You know, should I? Oh, what about? Oh, do you? Oh, it's the same thing whether you're communicating with dogs or horses or cats or dead people. It's the same thing or your guides. Same yeah. thing. It's going to be really fast over the top. It's all telepathic. Sometimes I would get, I would get like someone just like, it's some, someone comes into my head and they're talking to me and they're like saying all these things and I should be writing it down because yes. by, by the time they finish, I've, I've already forgotten a, a good portion of it, but I was listening and it made so much sense. And it, yep. it just like, it was like, it was, they were talking to me and they were hitting my heart at the same time. It was just like, sure. you know, but then you don't retain it you know, no. very well. So it's, it's like, not yours. This right. is so important. Like when I'm doing a reading, I always apologize to people 
And I do readings all day, every day. Right. And I always apologize to people for interrupting them because it's not my stuff. I'm channeling this information yes. and I'm not going to remember it. And I've had people say, they'll even email me after the thing that, what was the thing you said about the, and I'm like, I'm three readings gone from yours. Yeah. Right. I have no idea what I said. Yeah. And I really don't. It's not my stuff. Because many times things would just pop into my head out of the blue and they're just talking and they're talking and they're talking yep. and it's not me. It's like, you know, it's like they're answering, you know, the feelings and the thoughts that have been going on inside me. Yep. It's like they're giving me the answers. And that's guidance. That's guidance. And, and we by the, all you know, have the ability to get it. All of us do. It's so cool. And I, you know, I've talked to so many people that are in your field. They're like, oh, your intuitiveness is so strong. You have no idea how strong it is, but it, you know, and the more I, time I, I, I spend trying to strengthen it, the stronger it gets. Yep. It's like practice makes perfect. It's like, yeah, you, know, you have to believe you have to be in alignment, like you said, Yes. and you, you know, you have to live a life where you love yourself mm -hmm. and emotionally, spiritually physically it all has to be a whole and like yes. you said you know once once you're able to align all that together and you're you're practicing and you're you're reaching out and they're reaching back to you it grows and it grows and it strengthens and it strengthens that's how i feel for myself how, how do you feel about that yeah ab absolutely i mean truthfully my sensitivities are so strong now that if i had gotten knocked in the head Back in 1990, when I first heard that nonverbal disabled child, if I had gotten knocked in the head and had all of these abilities that I have now, yeah, instantly I, I, I would need psychiatric care. <laughs> <I would. laughs> they need to evolve. They really need to evolve. That's how and, I felt for me too. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, and and a lot of people get um, initiations where it's signs that you're kicking up a notch vibration wise. And it's really funny. The symptoms are really weird. You get little orgasms out of nowhere. And you're just like, oh, what, what is that? <laughs> and, then, and then the other thing is, is you find your fingers pressing on your breastbone because the thymus gland is right behind there. Okay. And that has to do with spiritual growth and development. But what hurts is those little cartilage areas where your ribs connect to the to the sternum yeah and those, those they hurt and so you find your fingers pressing on your sternum and i catch people doing it all the time and i go oh initiation and they think what you're pressing on your sternum yeah i don't know why it hurts yeah and they, and they panic oh my god i'm having a heart attack right 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 <laughs> no you're having an initiation and I, I the other thing too is it is it things seem brighter all of a sudden, like colors are brighter, uh, food tastes, you know, 10 times better than it ever did. Right. So all of your senses get heightened, all of them. And, and uh, so those are signs that you're having an initiation. You're not crazy. You're just having an initiation. Now, when you mean initiation that they're welcoming you into the intuitive world, they're, they're brought in no, your, your senses. No, it, it's just that you're kicking it up a notch. Your gotcha. own vibration is getting higher. That's I all. see. Yeah. Because yeah. I felt like over time, my my intuitiveness grew and got stronger and yeah, stronger and stronger. It, I, I would be I would feel sorry for somebody that got knocked in the head and all of a sudden was a medium or something. Yeah, I would feel I'd feel so sorry for them. Yeah, it, it, you got to grow it. And here I am 32 years since that opening. Right. And now it's just like, oh, Oh, you know, I just, I don't freak out at any of it. It's like, oh, this is cool. Let, let's look at this. You know, I get excited about it. Yeah. You know, about all the stuff that I get to do. Right. There's no limit to it. There's no limit. The only things I won't do is predictions and police work. And this is really important for people to understand. Do not ever go to someone and ask for predictions. Right. Don't ever go in and say, what do you see? Because predictions are dangerous because of the law of attraction. Right. You know, if you're working really hard towards something and you go to, um, you know, a reader and the reader says, oh, yes, I see that thing you're working really hard towards coming to fruition. You might say, well, it's going to happen. So I can just sit on my laurels and 
And then mm. it won't happen. And then you blame them, you blame the reader. Right. Well, if, if, if you, if, let's say they see something really bad for you, you're going to get in a car accident. And by you yelling, no, 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 at that car accident, you will pull it to you. Right, right. Because what we resist persists. Right. So never, never ask for predictions. Empower yourself and manifest it if you right. want it. That's the name of the game. That makes all very good sense. Yes. For sure. Really. Because I think we're, we're more in control than we think you know like yes. you know you know it, it the, the, the you know we we live in a world where we feel we're powerless but we we do have the ability you know we do have you know the power you know if we use it the right way you know we the, are creators yes we are creative energy in a physical form we're one percent physical Right. The rest of us is complete creative energy. Right. I think about this down to a cellular level. Yeah. We all have mitosis in the cells. What is mitosis? It's the creation of energy. Right. So if you're creating energy in your cells. You are the creator. Right. For you, just for you, not right. anybody else. That's right. But you're the creator. Yeah. You know, I feel like when I work on my empowerment that I, I, I have brought myself to such a strong level and then it yes. brings the self-love the confidence yes. yes and then it opens you up to things that you never thought you were capable of, of yeah. actually having and it's yeah. it's a wonderful feeling yeah it's a wonderful so if feeling. anybody wants to learn how to do it i'll do my little plug here yes please do this, this is my first book this one this teaches you how to do everything i do it's the cowgirl shaman way seven easy steps to develop your intuitive abilities the second book i wrote because they told me I had to, I didn't want to, but I had to, it's called intuitive communication, communicating with those who cannot. And this is for people in a coma, persistent vegetative state, Alzheimer's, dementia, traumatic brain injuries, anybody who can't communicate. This is so important. And then my third one that just came out is the physics of mediumship. And I'm so excited about this one, because it's really going to debunk a lot of the the crap that's out there that that people you know are people that are grieving are the most vulnerable yes yes the most vulnerable population and this teaches you how to be your own medium so you don't have to depend on somebody else you can learn to connect to your loved ones whether human or animal and know that they're around you all the time even though they're on the other side too Yes. And it just, oh, it just, it just makes your heart happy. It just does. I love that. I am so excited to read those books. I, I especially, you know, especially after losing a few people in my life the past year and a half, first of all, I want to read the first one because the first one, I want to learn how to broaden yes. my abilities, even though I, I know I have the abilities, I want to even make it to take it to a different higher level. Right. And I want to, I would love to learn how to connect more with the people that I lost, you know, and oh, I, gosh, yeah. you know, it, it would be so refreshing just to, to, just to, to feel or hear or sense something, you know, and to, you know, have that, that feeling, you know, when you know, someone is in a better state, it, it takes off like a brick off your shoulders that, okay, they're not it's here, but they are in, in a better state of mind. They're in a better presence. They're with us and they're feeling good and it yep. makes you it makes you feel good especially if they passed in a suffering state of mind you know sure. if they passed and they were suffering but you, you have know, to remember stacy they don't remember that oh so, they don't remember that no okay i didn't no. realize that okay so, so they don't thinking, remember in the suffering they just remember the no. good things like yes. you said gotcha okay the happy stuff goes to the other side so you're like well are you in a better place and they're like yeah, yeah, of course. I'm in heaven. What the frick? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love yeah, it. They don't even know what you're talking about. I got you now. Okay. You're focusing on the suffering they had. Because we're humans and that's our yes. mentality. Yes. yes. Got you. And you're thinking that they remember that and they're somehow like, whoo, that yeah. was awful. <laughs> <laughs> No, I got you now. Oh my, that's awesome. I love yeah, it. I let love it. Go. it. Let All right. It go. Wait, yeah. There should be a song of like that, right? Let it, let go. it go. Let it go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My mom was so funny when she died. She woke me up 
And she said, I did it, which I thought was a funny thing to say. Yeah, yeah. I said, you left your body? She said, yes. Then she socked me right in my bicep. And of course, she was non-physical. So it didn't right, right. I said, what's that for? She said, why didn't you tell me how incredible it was? I said, <laughs> you didn't believe me. <laughs> she said, well, you should have tried to work harder to convince me. Oh, that's funny. And I said, and where do I get my stubbornness? She goes, yeah. that's beside the point. <laughs> she, and then she goes, it's amazing. And then she goes, I've got your pig. And I went, oh my goodness. I totally forgot that I had had a pig, you know, oh, when many you're... years ago. Oh, she how goes, funny. I've got all your, she said, I've got all your horses and all your dogs and your cat. She goes, they're all happy. And I said, did you find your honey? And she said, yes. She Aww. looked like she was a teenager. Like, you know, she just yeah. found Because her husband predeceased her. Okay. And she goes, she goes, my whole family's here. She goes, they look good. I mean, she was surprised that they didn't look how they did when they died. Yeah, yeah. Everybody wants to look like they were 20, you know? Oh, yeah. But yeah. she goes, they look good. I mean, she was really <laughs> and then she said, coffee at eight. And I said, you got it. I'll see you in the morning. Because uh, um, I used to call her. She lives in Vegas and I'm in northwestern Nevada. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm about 40 minutes from Tahoe. And okay. so she, we used to have coffee together every morning. I'd call her at eight o'clock and we'd sit and she'd say, so what are we doing today? And I'd go, what do you uh, got, moss in your pocket? <laughs> so, so anyway, still every morning, eight o'clock. And it was funny this morning, I had um, a bagel with black schmear, mm -hmm. you know, it's chopped yeah, yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what that is. Anyway, and she says, Oi, that looks good. <laughs> I said, Yeah, you and your freaking brownies. She's always trying to get me two bite brownies. I go, uh -uh. Oh, really? Lock Schmear is the name of the game today. <laughs> so it was really funny just having that conversation with her this morning. They're never gone. That's the thing. I love we just, it. We just don't perceive them because they're non physical. And, and oh my God, we miss them. I'm still having shits and giggles with her. Right, right. Yeah. Cause that's yeah, what I always, fun. I always say, you know, like when, when people lose a loved one, I'm like, you lost the physical, but the, the, that's all. the spiritual, the, the energy. Yes. And the negative now, now I know that the negative goes away. That makes me even feel better, you oh, know, yeah. that they don't, they, that negativeness, they're, they're not aware of that anymore. Yeah. And that makes sense because they're always in happy spirits. They're always, exactly. you know, they're always positive and they're always they're you know, when anything would come to me, it was always good. It was yeah. always a positive, you know, when any, anything they had to say was either to help you or it was positive or they to let you know they were you. okay. They can't help you. If you get help, it's guidance. Okay. So that was guidance. guidance. Okay. Yeah. And a lot of times they won't differentiate. I mean, people always talk about messages from angels and, oh my God, that's a hot button for me because angels have one function and they're totally different species. Save your hiney when they can. And then poof, they're gone. You okay. will never get messages from angels unless it's to save you in some way. Okay. So let's, could we, before we close off, can we just go over that quickly? So angels yeah. are to help you to, to save, save you in you times of need. Okay. Only. And guidance. That's all they do. And guidance, guidance is 24 seven. 24 seven. They're just, they. But here's like, the thing. If, if you hear a voice in your head and it's something, you know, positive, helpful, and you say, Oh, are you my angel? The, the guide's going to go, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm your angel. Oh, are you the Archangel Michael? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm the Archangel <laughs> Michael. And it's, so it's like, that's why people think they're getting all this, these messages from right, angels, and right. they're not. Right. It's just guides, guides 24 seven. But as long as you're listening, they'll right. keep it going. They'll keep, yeah, she thinks I'm her angel, but you know, they, I got a good gig going here. She's listening. So right. I'm going to keep going and give her stuff. <laughs> and how do, when you're and when your loved ones contact you do they how do you know the like the difference do they say hey it's so and so or they just start oh, talking no, you to you and then tell you, you could just, just tell, tell by the here. way they just talk to you and the way they you can just react tell who it is yeah it, you know you don't you don't need the physical form to go who are you, <laughs> you right just know. you just know you just yeah. know i got a dog poking its head up right between my legs here while I'm sitting where I'm sitting at my computer and that dog passed in April but he always used to do that right and so right. I know he's right there I know he's right there and he's going what are you doing right he doesn't know what he was always what are you doing <laughs> it was so cute. It was just so cute. You know, it's funny and that you say that because my my grandmother, when when my grandfather had passed, um he she the dog immediately always sat 
in his chair would not leave his chair for anything and she said i swear that that that's your grandfather in in the dog's body or you know it was just like she's just like she would not leave his her side the dog after he yeah. passed and he and the dog would would sleep on his side of the bed and the dog would always sit in his chair because he had that special chair that only was for him yeah but that's probably the dog enjoying being in the energy of the grandfather okay okay that it's makes not, sense i mean can the grandfather walk into the dog yeah i would i would never dispute that i mean i've got a horse that my friend linda who died walked into oh really this is a weird horse <laughs> and she threw and she changed overnight oh she really very dull, very dull not reactive not yeah. affectionate and she changed overnight she picks up her dish and hands it to you when she's done eating <laughs> <laughs> yeah she does zippers on your jacket she does oh, really? velcro on your sleeves she gives you a facial i've got a video of her giving me a facial <laughs> she thinks it's kisses but yeah yeah she's yeah she's weird she'll she'll pin me and then lift up a hind leg for me to clear clean her udder <laughs> i mean she's weird so if you tap her like this she'll hold up a leg so you can clean the 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 shavings out from underneath it i mean she's just she's a weird horse <laughs> It is really weird. And she did that overnight. Overnight, she changed. Her personality just and changed And then I overnight. just felt Linda out there all the time. I took a picture with big hoop earrings and a scarf on her. Uh, uh, because that's how Linda used to Linda dress. Used big to dress. hoop earrings and a scarf. You know? Oh, that's that was too Linda. funny. That's yeah, too so funny. I did, that. I did that for that. She's weird. <laughs> She's just a weird horse. Now, if people want to contact you, where do they go to, to your website, your information, yeah. all that good stuff? Where can they find you? Uh, best place is my website. It's www.terrijay.com. And that way they can sign up for readings. They can, um, my first book is available on there and I, I still have enough that I can mail it from there and I can autograph them too. But um, they can get that book there. Um, the, all, the, all the books are available on Amazon. And uh, um, anyway, you can email me from there and and uh, sign up for a reading, half hour reading or hour reading. And uh, please remember, I love coaching people to do this. And in the products page, I do have coaching packages where you can do it in person. You can do it by phone or Skype and uh, you get the book included. Oh, that's and I wonderful. send you the ebook right away so you can start studying it. And it's really fun. And then I'll have you do readings for me once you know how to do it. It's really fun. I love that. I am yeah. very excited to read these books. I, it's a hoot. It, it's been a pleasure having you on this show. I just, you know, thank you so much for sharing all this value and you know, valuable information. I, I can't wait to start dipping into your book because I, <laughs> I, you know, those books sound so interesting. I'm just, and where can they find the books? Are, are they in your website? Are they on Amazon? Well, the first book, this one, this one is on my website. I still have some of it that I can mail out and I will autograph it. But the other two books are on Amazon. Okay. Um, you can actually get all three on Amazon. That's probably the best place. We're going to try to put a box together for Christmas too, so you can get all three at Christmas. Oh, that sounds great. Uh, I love that set. idea. Yeah. yeah. And then the one I'm writing now is about uh, dog communication. So that's next. And then after that is horse communication and then cat communication. That's awesome. You know, people, because oh, yeah. people love their pets and, oh, God, you know, their know. pets, their pets are like another child to them, you know, yes. and I, I, I love that, you know, and, oh, and I'm going to be on a series on a streaming channel. I can't say anything about it because they'd have to kill me. Okay. But I'm on a streaming <laughs> channel, uh, this fall. Oh, uh, awesome. My readings figured in this guy's story. Um, you know, I, I basically, told him what was wrong with his brand new bride oh, and wow. uh, his his journey from that point yeah so i'm really honored to be in it and i just went down to burbank uh in june and got to meet a whole bunch of stars and it was really fun oh that's they, awesome they have they have a storyline and they have stars playing these different roles and there's a really really well-known actress playing me oh. so it was really fun i just can't talk about it though. yeah they, yeah they, they'll, they'll kill me they'll take a take a contract out and kill me if I talk about it. But anyway, the producers there are being very helpful trying to help me get my own show. So I'm really excited about it. Oh, that. that's exciting. Yeah, yeah. That, that's great. And we got the hook. We're going to do we're going to do animal readings that then pivot to the doing the human readings. So it's going to be really fun. Oh, wow. I love it. Yeah. I love yeah. it. 
So maybe once the show starts, we could have you back on and then you can tell oh, us yes. about everything. That would be great. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Well, thank I'm you excited so about much. It. I, I... Well, thank you so much for having me. This was really fun. It's nice to communicate all this information with somebody who's very knowledgeable about it. You know, you know you... I, I, I love this stuff. I, you know, I've had this intu intuitive, you know, um, this since I was younger and I love speaking with people who are at a higher level that could kind of guide you and explain things and explain, explain it in a simplistic level. So that's what you did because people, sometimes yeah. it goes over their head or they don't understand things and you were able to just break it down so people could understand it. And now they look, know where to look for your your book so they can get step-by-step -step guidance yeah. on how to actually put it to use in their own life which well, I love you know, I'm a Nevada cowgirl I'm really a down-to-earth Nevada cowgirl and <laughs> it's got to be simple understandable and logical it has exactly. to be logical for me yeah I can't do woo-woo at all I right <laughs> <laughs> no 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 and that's why you know really realizing that it was all physics was a game changer for me it really was yeah, it, it, it's wonderful. I, I, you know, I give you kudos for everything you do. And I love it. Every, Thank I you. love your website. I love your stories. And I can't wait to read your book. So trust me, after this, I'm going to be buying your books. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good to me. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming. And thank is there you, anything Stacey. else? Do you have anything else to say before we go? Or you think? No, you just, just, I just really want to encourage people that you're not crazy. You know, you're not crazy unless you're getting negative stuff. Right. But you should, you, everybody needs to learn to um, embrace their own intuitive abilities. And it makes you for, makes for a happier, healthier, more abundant life. It does. I think that's wonderful. And, you know, it's great that you're encouraging people and making them understand that everybody has this ability. Yes. So that's great. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank and you. I, I had a great time. I hope you have a wonderful day today. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.